This is going to be a video product review of the Zona Ultra Thin Razor Saw. It has 52 teeth per inch, which is a heck of a lot of teeth. Look at that. This is sold by Sona. It has a blade length of four and a half inches and a cut depth of seven sixteenths of an inch, a little bit less than half an inch. It's got a nice handle, a little bit of uh, roughness over there. Who cares? It's got a, a very fine blade. So I'm going to be talking about this and why I bought it and then I'm going to test it out and I'm going to compare it to their other saw. This is going to be a video product review of the Zona Deluxe Razor Saw with Miter Box. Deluxe Fine Kerf Saw with Aluminum Thin Slot Miter uh, made in the USA. The saw has 24 teeth per inch. I'm going to be comparing this to the other saw that does not come with the miter box and this has got 52 teeth per inch. This is accurate for, okay, so for the, uh, the miter box, what does it say? Seven eighths of an inch thick or less, so maybe half an inch thick. Yeah, a little bit less than ha an inch thick. Uh, blade specs, blade is six and a half inches long by one and three sixteenths cutting depth. Razor handle saw, ergonomic design, New England grow, maple handle, 12 and 3 quarter inch overall length from end of the handle to the front of the saw blade. Miter box is perfect or per, for precise cuts. It has a 0 .014 inch slot width. It has 45 degree, 60 degree, and 90 degree angles, a 7 eighth of an inch cutting depth, 2 inch wide. Now, let me talk before I do a comparison of these two and test them out. Uh, there were some complaints online. It's an aluminum box, so obviously when you're sawing, if you're not careful, you're going to ruin the miter box. Same thing happens with a wooden miter box and a regular saw. You damage the miter box, so you're going to have to be careful. This is really not something that you want to be using on heavy-duty wood, hard woods. This is for delicate stuff where for me, I'm probably going to use the box to get my start line, and I don't know if I will completely use the box to go all the way through the cutter. I'll just do that by hand. Um, you definitely want to put something on the bottom of the box so that you're not going to damage it or cut into it. Uh, what can you say? This is a delicate tool. It's a delicate box. Some people were complaining when you look at the description, and I am going to find that out soon, but we've got obviously the 45 degree cut, we've got the 90 degree cut, and one of the descriptions says 60 degree cut, and the other says 30 degree cut, and they have, Zona has not fixed that error. That's all over their website, all over the Amazon website, saying 60 degree cut cuts 30 degree cut. So I don't know what's going on here. That to me looks like 60 degrees. That's what I need. I'll leave affiliate links for both of these in the video description, and we're going to test them out now and see if I keep them or do I return them. Price is really reasonable, very reasonable. So here we go. We're going to test out both of these saws. Why did I buy them? I'm making birdhouses. I'm making really simple birdhouses with redwood uh, fence picket, picket fence pieces. I can't cut a straight line no matter what I do. Even if I use a, uh, a square to line things up, all of my cuts are beveled. I, I can't hold the blade straight, so they're either beveled or if I use a saw, the beginning of the cut is ruined, the end of the cut is ruined, and the middle of the cut, the center of the cut, is straight and beveled. So I know you want to see me use this to cut the wood. It's going to be very difficult to keep the camera here and work on cutting with everything right in front of me. So I'm going to do some of the cuts and then I'm going to let you know what I think of each of the saws and of the miter box. If the saws are worth keeping, if they make accurate cuts, if the miter box is worth keeping. So stand by, let me do this, and I'll come back and give you my results. Cutting into a popsicle stick with the small 52 uh, TPI. 
right on the line, very easy, very accurate. Definitely not going to work on hardwood like it is on the softwood. But let me continue cutting. That is the first cut with the 52 teeth per inch, the small saw. If you are one of those macho construction people that loves big heavy saws and uh, is really tough and aggressive with working, you're not going to like this saw. If you are a model builder and you have patience, believe me, this probably took about at least two minutes, maybe three minutes to cut this little popsicle stick with this saw. The cut is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Look at that. That's wonderful. That's freehand. That was uh, just using the triangle and a cut. So this saw is really nice. I would not say it's exceptionally sharp. It's exceptionally sharp. It just, it, there aren't that many teeth. It's not an aggressive cut. So it's going to take you a long time. But look at that. I don't even need to sand this thing. Popsicle sticks, the wood in a popsicle stick will, uh, will shred all over the place. And this is a beautiful cut without using this. So now I'm going to go and use the big saw. And we're going to see what happens as I make this cut. This is the second cut. I guess I should be calling it the first cut. This cut over here, number two, was done with this saw. Took a long time, easily two to three minutes. Uh, very fine cut, very smooth. This cut over here was done with this saw. This has 24 teeth per inch. This was much quicker much quicker, probably a minute, minute and a half. Uh, the only hard part is getting it to bite in. I'm not using a vise. If I had a vise, it would be a lot better. Uh, I'm not using the miter box. Strictly doing this by hand to uh, see how good these saws are. I don't feel any excess anything on that cut with the large saw. And over here, I definitely feel nothing but smoothness. So let's do a test now. This was made, this cut was made with the big saw. This cut was made with the small saw. So let's see what happens here. Goes together very nicely. That is a 60 degree cut. So if we cut with the small saw over here, look at that. Beautiful, no gap. I'm looking through the camera, so this is really hard to. Uh, to see this. But again, this was done without a vise, just on this paper towel table here. So normally when I'm doing a video of something I buy, I'm thinking, okay, what point do I get at where I decide I'm returning this and getting my money back? And when I started this, I was thinking, do I really want to mess with these saws? These saws are the only thing that are going to get me through being able to do the projects that I want to do now with the stars and my 60 degree angles. And the final thing that I want to do, I'm not sure how well this is going to hold up. I'm going to do a cut with the miter box and we're going to see what I think of it. And I'll be back. The final cut, I did use the miter box. I put some... Uh, popsicle sticks over there so that I didn't cut down into the bottom. Um, you can see a little bit of the sawdust over there. So what I did, my back is killing me. I hurt my back lifting a bunch of wood that uh, I'm going to use to make birdhouses. And so uh, I can't really lean forward to do sawing, but I took this and I put it in the miter box without, even though I had my line over there, you could, I mean, look at this. Let me look. I had a, uh, you can see the line. Look at that. That's just, that's absolutely incredible. That was a pen. Just a little bit of pen marking over there, but that was a pen. And I put this in the miter box 
and I use the wide saw. And I'm going to say it again, if you are, if you have no patience, these saws, and this, this is not for you. You are going to need patience, you are going to need skill, you are going to need time, and you're going to need calm hands and nerves. If you're an aggressive builder that goes out there with a big hammer or a sawzall, or uh, you just want to get it done and you want to rip it apart and then you want to patch it up, this is not for you because this is going to take time. But this was cut about halfway through with the miter box. It's kind of difficult because this is on a table. Nothing's holding it down. But the advantage of that is that, and also the saw is digging into the paper towel on the table. But nothing, I'm not going to be aggressive because I have to be careful what I'm doing. But, I mean, look at that. So I cut about halfway through with the miter box and my back was hurting leaning forward so I took the uh, wood and I put it on the table. That is very impressive. I don't know if you're going to get that uh, type of cut using a real miter saw. So this is with the large saw, 60 degree cut using the miter box. And it's not perfectly, there's some, there's some dirt over there, but it, it meshes together really nice. That is a beautiful cut. That's incredible. And that, again, was done with the big saw. Let's go back to, this was done with the small saw. And this, I will say, with this small saw, it is just an incredibly smooth cut. But look at this with both saws. This on here is the large with 24 teeth. This is with the 52 teeth. That is beautiful. That is absolutely incredible. I'm keeping them. Look at that. I'm just shocked. This is the large saw going against the large saw that was cut in the miter box. And I don't know, it's hard to tell if the line is from the cut or from the pen. Absolutely remarkable. And this is going to allow me to make the stars that I wanted to make. I don't think this is going to cut into hard wood. I can't say how long either one of these saws is going to last. I don't know how long this is going to last, but if you do good quality micro work and you have the patience to do that and you build dollhouses or stars or little things and you're in no rush to do it, you just want it to look good, this is the way to go. If you are in a business and you're trying to make 500 things a day, this is not the way to go. You're going to have to buy a miter saw, a power saw, a table saw and do it that way. What do I think of both of these? I wasn't sure at the beginning. I'm keeping them. I think they are both worth the money. Great products. And uh, what else can I say? Zona. You make a good saw, you make a good saw, and you make a good miter box. And this is definitely, for those that are questioning it, this is definitely a 60 degree cut, even though their website says 30. And I'm not going to get the... Uh, the triangle out because it's across the room, but that's definitely a 45 degree cut and that's a straight 90 de degree cut. This is going to allow me to do the few projects that I want to do. Well worth the money, great, great saws, takes time, you'll get a good result if you buy these. I am going to do a quick test with both of these saws. This is Redwood, Picket Fence, Redwood. There's the dog over there saying, please stop making videos and talk to me. <laughs> Um, so I don't really have a vise over here. I have nothing to hold this down. This is not going to be an easy cut. These are not going to be easy cuts to make without a vise or anything to hold this in place. But I'm going to try both saws and I'll let you know how it handles. This is about 5 8 inch thick. Um, 5 8 3 quarters? I don't remember. Uh, redwood picket fence material. Hi, sad pants. I love you. I'm going to finish up the video. This is a uh, 
piece of redwood as I said. The first test I used, what saw did I use? I used this saw. This saw, the thing I noticed is my hands were tensed up, my arms were tensed up, and I was trying to force a little bit. You got to relax your hands, relax your forearms, relax your arms. Just let the saw, saw do what it needs to do. These are not tough, hardcore saws. You need to be patient. This is with the big saw. Without a vise, just making a cut. You can see where, I mean, this thing is smooth. This is unbelievable. I, I'm just shocked at how, how nice these cuts are. A little bit awkward when I first started. Well, I can barely see it now. Look at that. Look at that. Just incredible. So that was with the big saw. Then I wanted to try the smaller saw. Where is that next cut? They're so thin, you can't even see it. So I wanted to try the second cut, and my back is killing me. I can't sit in the chair, so I was on the floor trying to do this thing. This saw is too small for something like this. I was able to get a really nice start of a cut, and you can see how clean, how narrow the saw blade is. It goes right in there, but I don't have a vise. I don't have anything to hold this, so I ended up using this and I'm going to get the rest of my cut with that. I'd say buying both of these saws you're going to be very happy. I believe that if you buy the saw on its own for only a few dollars more you can buy it in a kit with the vise, with the uh, miter box. So look for the kit, the saw and the miter box. I think this was like 19, this was 22. Uh, wait, the saw alone was 19 but if you bought it in the kit the whole thing's 22. So buy the kit, you're going to get the saw, you'll get the benefit of this. I like both of them. And the neat thing is, even if you're not going to use the miter box, all I did is I used this triangle and I marked my lines over here for, where did I put those pieces now? I marked my lines and these cuts are absolutely amazing. 60 degree cuts. So if you're working on some serious... Uh, three-quarter inch walnut or something, uh, three-quarter inch whatever. And that's what I'm going to be working on is three-quarter inch squared wood. You're going to have a bit of a tough time with it. The nice thing is that if you use these, you're going to be able to get your angles and your saw cuts. And just take your time, be patient, and you're going to get a project. But again, if you're working on something where you're trying to mass produce and you don't have any patience, this is definitely not the way to go. You'll snap these saws, you'll ruin your cuts, you'll be very unhappy, and it's only going to be because of you, not because of this wonderful product. And that is going to complete my review. I will leave an affiliate link in the video description for both of these saws. Please do the thumbs up, share, uh, all the other stuff nobody does. And uh, if you want to donate for me helping you out, there's a donation link in the video description. Thank you for watching. Good luck in your builds.